Sally had transformed the Children's Museum at probably one of the times when it really needed it. Um, you know, sometimes there's voids in the arc of a life of a nonprofit, and the Children's Museum had one probably about 10 or 12 years ago. And when nobody would stay, it was kind of rough and ugly. Sally said, I'll do it because it needs it. I'm always so impressed with Sally because she goes right to the heart of understanding the problem in a way that a lot of other people don't. She inspired all of us. Um, when times are low, Sally's cheering. When times are high, she's cheering louder. She always is right there with the Children's Museum, and because of that, we are where we are today. Sally represents the spirit of giving because not only does she do it herself, not only does she inspire all of us, but she is building generations of givers and she starts with her own family. I think you look at her two daughters and what they're doing out in their respective communities and now she's got five grandchildren to work on. I can't imagine the impact that those folks are gonna have on future generations. I think I'm really a product of my environment. Uh, I grew up in St. Louis where my mother was very active in the community and I was really her shadow. And um, it's just, uh, I think, you know, you just get this feeling when you, when you see someone doing that all the time, it just becomes just a, a, just a part of you. My older daughter is in Georgia where her husband is headmaster of a school and she is giving back not only to the school community but also they're close enough to Atlanta that she's involved with activities in Atlanta. And my younger daughter Tunstall is here in Richmond and she has um, definitely followed in mother's footsteps because she's very involved with the Children's Museum and she also was their first president of their junior board. Children's Museum and my younger daughter were born the same year, 1981, and the Children's Museum has been a part of my life in some fashion ever since that time. And I think I became a member of the board in 1998. I was happy that they kept me on the board until 2007. I did have the wonderful distinction of being their longest serving board chair and I, even though I'm off the board now, I'm still involved and with the, um, with the uh, development committee. And um, I think there will, I will always, I hope I will always be a part of this because the children, the children here are our future and what a, what better way and wonderfully fun way than you can learn by play. And I think the Children's Museum brings out the child most regardless of our age.